갑자기 내게 나타나준 너난 아무 말도 할 수가 없었지 첫눈에 반한다는 이야기가 Guys, welcome back to my channel So guys, today I'm going to be doing organic base cream and I will be using um, goat milk powder This is a goat milk base cream because goat milk helps to brighten up the skin Yes, goat mix has lactic acid. It contains lactic acid. So <laughs> let me put it that way. It contains lactic acid. It helps to exfoliate the skin. So we are making a base cream. With this base cream, you can be able to formulate your own product, any product you want to use. To maybe you want to make Egyptian cream, you want to make Afghan cream, you want to make brightening, glow, lightening, intense. You can actually use from your base cream that you have made already to make your cream. So it is very very easy. If you want to make a cream or if you are into selling, it is better you make a base cream because it's not every time you have to be making uh, new products from the scratch. It's really really stressful. So it's better you make your own base. You can make like three, four, five, ten kilos. So today I will be making four kilos of my goat milk base cream. This base cream I'll be using it to be promising different type of uh, lotions right so like i said before i'm going to be using the goat's milk and i'm using five percent lactic acid this helps to exfoliate and brighten up the skin like it gives your base a very good effect and it was a steric acid so it was is what brings the water and your oils together it brings the water and oil together and why the steric acid is just going to help to thicken up your product so you can call you can call the steric acid uh co emulsifier okay so uh yeah i have my e-wax i have my steric acid yeah i have my coconut oil and i have my shea butter so i'm using these two oil as my base to make my base cream so whenever i want to promise then i can use any branded oils i can use half cast oil i can use egyptian oil any branded oil of my choice i can use it to do the promising but for the base i'm just going to use two uh cocoa and uh, two oils which is the coconut oil the uh shea butter so the reason why i'm using coconut oil and shea butter because these two are emollient okay coconut butter coconut oil is an emollient and uh, shea butter is also an emollient so now i'm not going to be using my uh, glycerin but when i want to promise this uh, lotions then i'm going to be using glycerin and propylene glycol for now it's just a simple base cream this cream will help just the base alone is going to help to brighten up your skin because of the lactic acid and the goat milk that we have here that you're going to add into this um, product just that okay lactic acid helps to exfoliate the skin and i will be using my um preservative also you really need to preserve your base cream okay you have to preserve your base cream then whenever you also want to promise it because you will be adding water to it whenever you want to promise you also need to preserve it okay so you make your base cream preserve it keep it in your fridge or any cool place in your house it can last up to one year depending on the preservative that you used so here i have my water I have distilled water, so do not use any water from the tap, okay? I have distilled water, and uh, this is uh, 3 kilos, okay? I have 3 kilos of distilled water here, and the other things I will be using, which is the oils, the e steric acid, the glycolic, uh, sorry, the lactic acid and preservative, those are 1 kilo, okay? So I'm doing 4 kilo of my base cream. It's really good if you make a really, really big batch of base cream. Just keep it in your house. Then whenever you want to make a cream or if a client just wants to order any cream, like the person wants Egyptian, the other person wants half cast, you just take from your base cream, you promise for half cast, you promise for Egyptian, okay? So, uh... Yeah, I have two phase. Like I always teach my students, if you want to make a cream... 
or a base film we have two phase okay we have the water phase and the oil phase here is my water okay so here is my water and here is my oil phase everything that dissolves in oils they have to stay together e was and the, the stearic acid and the oils they stay together this is what they call the oil phase so if you have any water phase that you want to include into your water you should add it you do not take anything from the oil phase and add it inside your water it's not going to dissolve okay or do not take anything that dissolves in water and add into your oil phase it's not going to dissolve so here i have my water phase which is the goat milk powder okay so you 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 are going to call the goat milk powder the water phase you're going to call the goat milk powder the water phase because this is not going to dissolve inside your oil right so i'm going to add in the powder because it's going to dissolve inside the water I'm using five spoons. This is four. And this is five. So this is what they call the water phase. So you see everything is just going to remain as water. But if you add this powder inside your oil phase is not going to dissolve okay just take note it's not going to dissolve so you can see we still have the water so it's better that you add your uh, goat milk powder inside your water earlier so that the water can really heat up up to 70 to 75 degrees so that if the powder have anything like i don't know bacteria i know if there's no bacteria because this is for eating we are eating the powder so i'm just saying so you really need to uh, cook it to 70 to 75 degrees in case if there's anything like germs everything is just going to die okay so this we are going to allow this to stay for 70 to 75 degrees okay so if you are using like other lightning powders you want to add lightning powders i'm not doing anything lightning powders in my base cream i'm just going to make a very simple goat make and lactic acid based cream so whenever i want to promise then i can introduce different type of lightning powders into my uh what is it called my cream yeah sometimes i really don't even add lightning powders into my cream because uh the base is already strong and if i'm going to be promising with some strong serums there's no need adding lightning powders inside uh, the cream any anymore because doing too much is really going to destroy the skin at the end keep it simple okay so yeah i'm going to allow this to stay for 70 to 75 degree and i'm going to dissolve this so many people do not know what they call the double boiling method so this is how you do the double boiling method this is your pot you put your water inside your pot i'm just giving you an example okay you put your water inside your pot and you put this on top and you on your stove so the water is going to heat up the the uh, oil phase is going to dissolve them yeah it's going to dissolve the oils it's going to dissolve the the what is it called steric acid and the emulsifying wax so you're going to be checking the temperature you're going to be checking the temperature the temperature of the water is supposed to be 70 to 75 degrees while the temperature of the oil is supposed to be 70 to 75 degrees so this is the kitchen and uh, thermometer all you do you make sure that the thermometer is clean you took it inside your water phase and you check it and you took it inside your oil phase and you also check it so i'm going to be showing you the temperature of these two products before i'm going to start mixing them together hope it's clear we are making a base okay take notes we're making a base so uh i'm going to bring you guys back by the time we get to uh 70 to 75 uh degree meanwhile i'm going to dissolve my oil phase okay stay tuned guys Okay, so we are going to take the temperature of this uh, water phase and also the oil phase, okay? So you are just going to 
dip this inside and it's going to read So yeah, we have a 70 degree, which is perfectly okay, okay? 70 to 75 degree. And you are going to take for the oil. So I'm going to bring this close. So for the oil, we have 80. For the oil, we have 80, which is also okay. So I'm going to pour the oil phase inside the water phase, okay? You pour this inside and just scoop everything in. And what you do, you mix this together. You can see what we have here. We have a very liquid solution so the next thing that you are going to do is to start blending okay because we are going to mix the water phase and the oil phase together miss for 10 to 15 minutes you can miss and stop and miss again so this is still look, looking uh watery so do not panic like uh, your cream is not thick like seriously it can it can take up to two hours one hour or one hour plus or two hours before your cream is going to come thick so don't panic so if you cannot wait or you are not that uh, patient you can just put your product inside your refrigerator okay it's going to come quick on time because as the temperature drops the cream is going to start to form but for now it's still very very hot and now you cannot add anything like um, preservative so you have to allow your cream to form and you have to allow your cream to cool down to 40 degree below 40 degree so it depends on the preservative that you're using if your preservative said you should use it 60 um, degree you can use it so my own preservative says 40 below so I'm going to wait till 40 below before I'm going to add in my preservative. And mind you, I'm still going to add in the lactic acid. But for now, so I'm going to bring you back once the cream has fully taken up or when the cream is below 40 degrees. So guys, see you soon. So guys, this is what we have. You can see. This is really thick, so I'm just going to still blend it one month, one more time again, okay? So I'm going to still blend one more time again. Okay, so I'm going to be adding the lactic acid. So guys, check the description box. This refused to open. The measurements, the measurements are there, okay? So, this is 200 ml of lactic acid. I'm using 5% lactic acid. So, this is 200 ml. And... I'm going to mix together. Mm.
So this is what I'm using now. So guys, this is how you make your base cream, okay? So if you're going to be keeping your base cream for a long time, you should add preservative. But I'm going to promise this base cream tomorrow. Yes, I'm going to promise this tomorrow because I'm doing wholesale for someone. So this is going to, I'm going to promise this tomorrow. And uh, take note, if you know you're not going to be using yours as soon as possible, please make sure to add preservative. But this, I'm not adding any preservative. So here is your base cream. Just your water, your oils, and your wax. This is all you need to make a base cream. Reason why I added lactic acid, because if I want to promise the cream, the pH of my total, uh, of my cream is going to be low, a little bit acidic, like, um, 4 point, 4 point 4.5 okay and most of the things that i will be using to promise my cream they are going to be acidic also so if you know that you are not going to use acidic products to promise your base cream do not use lactic acid from the beginning okay please take note don't use lactic acid okay guys that is it for today's video i hope you find this video very helpful and uh, you are free to ask questions. My contacts are below the description box. So for my WhatsApp, if you know you want to join the online training, you can follow the WhatsApp. If you know you want to buy my product, you can follow the WhatsApp. But just contact, just uh, asking of questions. Don't add me up on WhatsApp. Ask your questions here on YouTube channel. Okay, please. So guys, thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.